Today, I finished... You hear that? Somebody's uh, running, revving their motor by my house. Today, I finished off this uh, booklet full of artwork. Um, it's 60 pages. And every single one of these works of art has a video associated with it on this channel. Everyone, so you can go back and, and check this stuff out. But this one here, this particular image, this falcon right here, that was straight, is on this video. Uh, you can watch me actually make this on this video, so just stay on here and then don't stop it. Uh, this is a watercolor. Uh, it's also ink wash and pencil, and it was a fun one to do. I was trying to do something with bubbles, and I think I did okay with it. There's bubbles on the paper. There's bubbles on the falcon as well. So um, do me a favor and, and just stay with this video and uh, go back and binge watch all my videos because I got 60 works of art there plus probably another 60 like this one up here that I did a year ago. So this is a fun page. Uh, I would suggest just going back and maybe getting some popcorn and a nice soda pop like here and uh, put this on your big screen TV set because it looks a lot better on the big screen. If you're here to learn something, you're gonna learn something. If you're here to be entertained, I think you're gonna like what you see. So thanks, thanks for being here. And I'm not gonna ask you to subscribe but I'm getting awfully close to 100. And when I get to 100, I'm going to throw a big party. I don't know what I'm going to do, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting encouraged again. So thank you. I'm going to do a short voiceover for those folks who are here to learn something. Uh, this starts off with my uh, sketch of my falcon. I, got, I put this up with my projector. I did not fr freehand this, which is fine. It doesn't have to be freehanded. And I used my circle maker to make these little drops. Uh, the idea for this, um, hey, that's me. I am, hey, how's it going? That's my Nebraska hat. Anyway, um, the idea for this picture was the bubbles. Um, I've done falcons before, so this was no stretch for me. Uh, it's a fun little image to do. But I wanted to, to see if I could do the reflections and do all that fun stuff. And it, I think it turns out pretty good. So this part of the video, I am using my 8B as in boy pencil. And I'm just scratching in uh, some shading. And when I do this with ink wash, I think that it looks really good the way the pencil lines show through the ink wash. Um, I don't, oh, there I am again. I'm shaking my paint. Uh, this is kind of out of order because so I don't start painting until the end. But... Um, I don't know anybody else that I've seen who does the pencil work and then does the ink wash over the top. I'm not saying I'm special. There's probably 10,000 people on YouTube who do it. Um, when I Google up or YouTube up stuff to look at, I, I, I tend to see the same stuff over and over and over again. And um, it's probably the bigger YouTubers, but uh, I don't see anybody else doing this. So here I am. I put my pencil lines in, and now I'm going over it with uh, – this is – actually ink ink it's the it's not watered down this is full strength ink i'm trying to do some uh like comic book style thick and thin lines here and it, it, it worked out um i was kind of rushing this painting oh there i am again uh, i'm looking at my white paint because later on i do a lot of highlights with the white paint uh so here i am i am putting in the shadows on my bubbles and if, if you want to do bubbles the best way to do it is go to Google and, and type in something like, like water droplets on leaves. That's what I did. And, and I've done this before. I just needed like a little refresher course on how to do it. Because when you, when you do these, you have to shade part of it. And you have to shade another part of it. And you have to highlight a part of it and highlight another part of it. And, and it's, it's just a pattern. Once you know the pattern, it's easy to do. So I just put up some round bubbles. I was going to freehand some ovals, but I figured, well, I got that, that circle maker. I'll just use that. So now I'm going over my uh, thicker thicker black lines. Oh, there I am again. And um, that's that's my actual, <laughs> it's just a, like an old bucket I got for, for water. Uh, anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, I was I usually free freehand those bubbles, but this time I used the circle maker. And I'm just darkening things in now. I'm just darkening and putting in patches of value uh, with my gray tones. And um, th this is the work part of artwork. Because later on, I go in with my highlights and I have all the fun. 
So I'm basically just putting some gray around the, the droplets to make that highlight look stronger. And I'm eventually going to put a super, super highlight in the upper left hand corner when I get to that. And that's what makes it pop. It's the same kind of thing when you do an eyeball and you put the eye shine on. It's the same effect. So when you're doing the bubble, you also have to realize what's under the bubble is distorted. And I, I had kind of freehanded this in my brain, how I do the distortions. And I think it kind of turned out. It's just kind of offset. So when you have two things on each side of the bubble, there's going to offset in the middle, up or down. It's kind of like, it's going to call it diffraction or something. Oh, there I am again. I'm studying this painting really hard because I, I need to do a really good job with this because I need lots and lots of more subscribers. You know what? I'm almost at 100. And after two years, uh, I'm glad to see that. I, actually, I got two today. Two today. I am shocked. Um, the, the, my last video I did is, is going to break a thousand views today, which is also a shocking, which means this is actually working for me finally. All this time, I'm actually getting somewhere. So um, now I'm adding the blue. The, my, I, I have a reference for this. And then the, the, beak, the beak or bill actually was blue. So, um, and I'm also backfilling my shadows with blue. That's a technique and it, it, that you can steal from me. Uh, I use this comic book technique. If you, if you look at a lot of comic books, you'll see sometimes they'll backfill the dark grays or black shadows with blue. And it's a, it's a, it really adds some dimension to it. There's my eye shine right there. That's, that's the selling point. That made that bird picture go from $10 to $10,000 in one, in one thing. Here I am putting on the eye shines onto the bubbles, the same effect. When you do that, it makes each bubble pop. Boom, you see that? Now it looks like a bubble. You know, like I had this painting and I set it outside in the rain and these gigantically huge raindrops uh, landed on my picture. Um, it's, it's a neat effect, I like this. I'll probably steal this again. Oh, that's my cat, Sherbert, right there. Hey, Sherbert, meow.